Hello everyone, welcome back to Mojo's Money. My name is Lacey and today we have our budget with me for April of 2024. Which I'm going to write up at the top. Of, these are my homemade budgeting sheets. If you want to check them out, they are on my Etsy, which is linked below. And I wanted to talk to you guys about what are we doing with our money for April? What's going on in my life this month? Because every month your budget changes just a little bit. And as always, ours did too. So, all right, we have over here in this first box, we need to talk about what is our income for April. So April, we have our, I get paid twice a month. I always get paid twice a month and I am salaried. So it's always the same. And then I had some rollover money from March as well. Okay, so we have $3,223.57 are my paychecks for the month. And that is our income, as well as I had $317 in rollover, and which is a pretty good rollover for us, honestly. So let's add that up. All combined, that is a total of $6,764.14 this month. And so, whenever you're talking about your budget, I like to start with my bills, like my non-negotiables. I have to pay these things every month. Some of it's negotiable, like streaming. And technically, I guess we could go without recycling, but it is what it is. So, all right, our mortgage is $1,400. Our water bill this month is going to be $90. Electric, I am budgeting $100. I'm not sure what it's going to be exactly yet, but natural gas um, is going to be 52. I actually got that bill in already, so I know exactly how much it's gonna be. Then the phone bill, I am going to uh, be budgeting 100. And so, so some of that rollover is the phone bill from last month. So our phone bill is not actually due till June, and I've been budgeting $95 per month to pay for a whole year since I believe I started this in either January or February. Maybe February I started this. Yeah. Anyways, and so I forgot to pull that out of the bank and now I have to pull it out this month. So total, our phones will be at $190 because the 95 from last month and the 95 from this month. And then our internet bill. So we canceled our cable and it was, okay, so this was super weird. We had like this weird promotional rate where it was actually cheaper if we had cable and internet together and then we that promotional rate ended it went super way up and we renegotiated with them for a lower rate and that meant we had to take the cable off so they also gave us a some kind of a credit for this mix-up that had that we had whenever they called and the new internet bill for this month is only $70 but I believe it's going to actually be more like 120 as going forward but 70 is good for this month so streaming I am increase that to 45 because I also put our Blink camera subscription in this and in addition to our Netflix and our Hulu. So then recycling, I don't even know if we'll need all this. We'll see. Okay. Recycling is $33. And then our solar panels payment is actually down now to 134. It was at 136 for a long time, but we're down now. I didn't put the change on this because it's all round up numbers. So let me just add these up. We have 1400 plus 90 plus 100 plus 52 plus 190 plus 70 plus 45 plus 33 plus 134 which means our bills for this month are two thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars so whew. They're up there, y'all, but that is what it is. And then now, down here at transportation, I don't have a car payment, but my car insurance this month is $87. And for gas, I'm budgeting $110. I do not need an oil change or any other maintenance that I know of, so that's going to be our full transportation cost for the month, which is not too bad. $110 plus $87. $197 for transportation. And up here for health insurance, my work pays for my insurance premiums, but my husband's health insurance is $317. No co-pays, but we do have some expensive brand new medications to get this month. So all 135 are going towards that. No bills that I know of. Oh, fun news on this. So my work contributes to a healthcare savings account for me. 
and that account has reached a number where I am going to be able to get LASIK eye surgery. So that can be the question of the day. Have you had LASIK eye surgery and what would your advice be about that? Okay, tell me in the comment section below. I'm pretty nervous about that to be honest, but my eye, my optometrist said I'm a perfect candidate and that means I wouldn't have to get contacts and do all of that maintenance that requires contacts every single month new contact cases, carrying them around with you. If one rips, you have to have backup glasses, it, traveling with extra stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. So, and I could just see, just wake up and see. It's crazy to think about that. But anyway, so I'm gonna go for a consultation for that soon. And yeah, tell me your experiences. I really, I wanna know, I want to know. Okay, 317 plus 135, 452 will be our healthcare costs for this month. And down here at groceries and dining out, I'm keeping this the same as usual, $685 for groceries and $350 for dining out. Which gives us $1,035 or $1, for food for the month, which I know is a little excessive for two people, but groceries have definitely gone up. And also, um, I don't know, I. I don't have a lot of splurges in my life and sometimes I like to get good food. So there we are. And also the time factor. Sometimes my time is worth more. And that way I have energy as well where I did not spend two hours cooking after work. I can do things like filming and other chores that I need to get done. So there's that. All right, pets. Let's talk about pets. I increased the pet budget this month because we got, we need to get a few extra things for our pets this month. So I'm going to put, let's do, I didn't even put a dollar sign. Oh, well, we're going to do 80 for food. Actually, my cats did come down with like an upper respiratory situation. So I'm going to put 20 because I did get them some drops and some little wipes for their eyes. <laughs> and then also for other, I got, I got my sweet elderly old man cat um, a set of stairs so he could climb on the bed. And I also got um, some treats for my dog and some cat litter so I've actually spent some of this money already but I'm going to put another hundred for other in the pet category and that gives us two hundred dollars for pets this month thankfully I did not have any vet bills because their their snotty nose is cleared up so that was good and I don't need to have anyone groomed so there's that I am going to have to be using my veterinary sinking fund category to go get more heart guard because our dog did eat his heart guard and the food that had it in there accidentally got thrown away and we had to put another one in there and it's very expensive. So there's that, that's gonna be coming out soon. <laughs> and then down here on miscellaneous, we need to get some new sheets for the bed. So we had, because we only had one set for the longest time and I was like, hey, we just got a new dryer. We can do sheets at home instead of the laundromat so let's get some sheets and so we did and now we have two sets but we have we got a set for our king size and for our guest twin size and it was fairly expensive so I'm going to be upping the miscellaneous category because I did already spend some of this to five hundred dollars and 14 cents for miscellaneous I might need to put something else in this category that's not just like mis miscellaneous household, so I will leave this blank and not total it yet. So we're gonna go up here towards charity. I usually do $20. And then for gifts, um, I have a big birthday for my family this month and I'm, I have a thing in mind that I want to get and I'm budgeting 270 for that. So $290. I'm going towards giving this month. And then, so we have our, con our well, self-care, I do continuing ed here, so. I have $250 towards continuing ed, which actually was a lot of the rollover because I had 125 saved last month and I'm adding 125 to it for now because a professional membership that I have is $250 for two years of that. So I'm gonna be paying for that. And then instead of clothing, let's see, we're going to put this category as Amazon Prime. So Amazon Prime is coming out soon. And it is going to be $140. Dun, dun, dun. Fun money this month was $300 each. And that brings the personal category $300 plus $300 plus $140 plus $250. 
Woo, this one was steep this month, $990 in personal. Let me look through my notes over here. I might have one more category that I missed. Okay, that's everything so far, but now we need to go down to savings. Our emergency and sinking funds kind of roll into one because I do a sinking fund that is my 100 envelope savings challenge for my emergency fund. So I just lump it all into one thing and that is $941 this month. Then for my game day challenges, I'm doing $30, which brings our savings to $971, which is a good chunk. Maybe I think it's about 15% of our income, not bad. And our other expense, I'm gonna be doing some extra uh, principal on our solar panels of $15, just because I had $15 extra from the amount that I had initially budgeted in this gas bill. So there is that. And so that brings this miscellaneous category to $515.14. And that's the whole budget. That's my plan of where all my money is going to go. But I have to make sure that I added all of this up correctly in my notes. So we're gonna go through and add up all of these expense boxes to get our grand expense total. So starting over here with bills, 2,114 plus 197 for transportation, plus 452 for health, plus 1,035 for food, plus 200 for pets, plus 515 and 14 cents for miscellaneous, plus 290 for giving, plus 990 for personal, plus 971 for savings. And that brings our grand expense total to $6,764.14. And would you look at that? I did add it correctly, yay! <laughs> so our income minus our total did equal zero dollars. And this is what's known as zero base budgeting, meaning that for all of the income coming in, it has a place that it is supposed to go. It does not mean that I have zero left in my account at the end of every month. I do normally have some rollover, but it does give me the freedom that if I wanted to spend some money, like if let's say I want to go out to grab some food after work rather than cooking something, I can say, how much do I have left in our dining out category? Oh, I only have $30. I have to go somewhere cheap, but I can do it. If that makes sense, that's why. That's why we do it like this. And it also gives us the freedom of being like, oh, well, I want this book, but like I shouldn't buy this book because I'm budgeting. But I look at my fun money, oh, I have $300 in here. I can get me a book if I want it. Or I can be like, oh, nope, it's at zero. I already spent my fun money for the month. That can wait till next month. It, that's why I do it like this. And if my other categories were all full up and I still had money left over, I would have just put it in here, which is where a lot of my savings comes from, is any other money that's not allocated, it's going in here because I want to be able to have my money work for me over time and accrue interest. So anyways, okay, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, but that's my budget for the month of April. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to like the video, and if you want to see more budgeting content, please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next video coming up here in a few days, and it's actually going to be a mini savings challenge for the It's Gonna Be May <laughs> savings challenge by Liz and Les for the first week of April. And don't forget, to have an awesome week, guys. Bye!